All right, so today on this episode of What Plant Is That, Paul? I'm gonna be talking about red oleander. So, uh, nerium oleander, uh, we have the white one, uh, pink, and several red, and then some dwarf varieties as well. So anyways, this thing uh, kind of grows everywhere, but they believe it originated in Southeast Asia. Uh, it's hardy to the mid 20s. Um, it does really, really well in Southern California. And you can see it's, uh, what is it, mid-June right now, and they are all in bloom. Uh, they bloom all in the same time frame, and they'll bloom for about, I don't know, a couple next couple months, all the way into August, September. Um, but this is their peak time right now, is, is into June. So uh, this plant, I, I pruned it back. It wasn't looking so good, and it, it grew back much healthier. So uh, the red does not seem to get oleander leaf scorch or the pink, there's a pink one over there. Um, and the white one seems the most susceptible. So you could see one, two, three, there were three there that have all died from the leaf scorch, but this one appears to be doing fine. Um, these things are at least, I'd say 20 or more years old. Um, and the rains did them really well this last year. Um, so they're having great peak blooms. So you can see really beautiful flowers. Um, they smell really, really nice. Um, and you do have to be careful because the drawback is that these plants are very, very poisonous. So keep them away from children or pets uh, because they will mess you up. Um, so what can I show you? Oh. I was going to show you a little bit of difference of the flowers here. Here's a pink. So I got this from across the way versus the red. So definitely slight differences here. And the oleander red is a bit redder. Um, I have a dwarf one that's even darker red, like almost a burgundy. But there are lots of different colors of flowers and, and much more interesting ones than these kind of, this is the standard hardy red, I would say. So there you go. Um, the leaf structure is, is great. They're really drought tolerant plants and they respond well to pruning and uh, man they don't need much water in Southern California to be happy. So there you go red oleander this is the larger full size one um, peak size I would say would be about 12 feet or so maybe a bit more and there you go so give us a like and a subscribe we'll keep plenty more plant videos coming your way here's the red oleander all right have a great day. Bam. Dude, it's creepy.